Okay, welcome back to part two of the Backspace Academy Lab on highly available and fault-tolerant architecture for web applications inside of VPC. So, in our last lesson, we detached our Elastic Network Interface from our NAT instance. In order to terminate that NAT instance and replace it with a, a new NAT instance uh, with uh, the uh, HVM virtualization type. So for our new NAT instance to be able to uh, connect through to the wider internet, it needs to have two things. It needs to have a public IP address and it also needs to have a route through to an internet gateway. So because our Elastic Network Interface, it already has a public IP associated with it. And our Elastic Network Interface, along with our NAT instance, which will be attached to that, will be located in the public subnet. And the public subnet has a route through to the Internet Gateway. So we have the requirements uh, for access through to the wider Internet. We also have a route from our private subnet, which will contain our database, uh, or our RDS instance, uh, we have a route from that through to this Elastic Network Interface. So all we need to do is to create a new NAT instance and attach this ENI to that, and, we'll, and then we'll be ready to go. So we'll just jump into uh, the Instances page. Okay, so we'll go to Community AMIs and we'll search for a NAT HVM type. Okay, so we can see one here that uh, look, looks fine to, to us. So that's, uh, it is virtualization type HVM. It's a NAT, uh, a NAT instance. So we'll look at using that one. Okay, you can see here we've got a T2 micro available. So we'll use that for the lab number of instances is one uh, the network make sure that we select our backspace dash lab VPC and we're going to launch that into our public subnet we don't want to auto assign a public IP because we're using the ENI which already has a public IP at attached to that we would like to protect against accidental termination so we make sure we check that as well so that's, that's ready to go. We'll leave that as it is. And now, now we look down here to network interfaces. So this is, uh, this is where we can actually attach our network interface that's already ready to go. So there we go. There's our network interface. We can attach that. And it, and it says to us here, we can no longer assign a public IP address to your instance. The reason is because we're, we've got our ENI here and we've, uh, with, with a public IP already attached to that. So that's it, ready to go. Okay, and just looking in here, uh, in the, in the advanced details, uh, this is where you would uh, you would bootstrap it with uh, with your latest code or uh, a bash script or something like that. So we won't do that for now. So uh, we'll leave that as it is, uh, and we'll go to add storage, and that's fine to leave that as it is. Okay, so we just call this uh, the name net. Okay, and this is where we want to select our existing security group uh, that we created, our NAT security group, so NATSG there, and which has all our uh, all our traffic defined there that we uh, our traffic rules that we can we can define. So that's fine. We'll review and launch that, and that's fine. We'll launch. Okay, so our existing key pair, and then we'll launch that instance. Okay, let's view our instances. Okay, so you can see there, there's our NAT. It's a T2 micro, uh, and it looks looking ready to go. And we can also see down here that it has an Elastic IP address. Okay, so there's our Elastic IP address. It's ready to go attached to it, and it's attached to the network interface ID that we uh, that we detach from the original, and so that's that done. Okay, so that was a uh, a very quick uh, lesson there. 
Uh, in our next lesson, it will be a little bit longer. Uh, we'll look at uh, creating uh, another uh, public and private subnet uh, in a second availability zone. We'll also look at creating uh, custom uh, network access control lists for our public and private subnets. I'll see you in the next lesson.